We have a little bit of a bigger smile on our faces this morning on 3 Plus U because we've left the studio and come to one of our favorite places in town, talking with some of our favorite people in town. We are at the new location of Rev Optimal Living, talking with the Rev family, where everybody feels like they're part of the family when they come in. This is Erica Rogers, Monica Smith, and the rest of the family unmiked up. So good to talk to all of you. Good morning. What a beautiful new space, Erica. This is lovely. Thank you. We have, over the past couple of weeks, put our hearts into this. It was a vision on paper for so many months, I think, moving into this space. And when we finally came here and we're breathing in it today, mm -hmm. it's like all the pieces had lined up. So I'm just so happy with how it turned out. That's a really great phrase, breathing it all in. Because, Monica, often people come through your door and they probably come in for their first couple of visits pretty tense. Mm -hmm. Something in their life mm -hmm. is going on. Mm -hmm. Boy, you set the tone of warmth and um, peace, really, the minute yeah. you come through the door. Yeah, thank you. I think every piece of this space is super intentional, and that's something that we really love so much because when people come in, we have the plants, the aroma, just the expansive nature of it. And then, of course, they get to meet with us and see you know, how we be in yeah. the world and how we can support them, and it's just been amazing. So let's talk about kind of the individual person that walks through, because we've had a chance over the course of y'all's time on 3 Plus U to talk with each and every one of the six of you. Um, but when people come in, Erica, they often think they're coming in because they just feel either maybe some anxiety, mm -hmm. maybe some stress, yeah. just kind of a disconnect, y'all have said. Yeah. Are they surprised, though, then, at the approach you take here at Rev? Because it is rather unique. I would say that people are beginning to know us a little bit more, and for the most part, somebody coming in as a friend of somebody else or has heard about us or whatever it might be, and when they come in here, they're not necessarily expecting one thing or another. Um, because we're a little bit more adaptable with who they are and moving through their individual needs. But I will say most people when they come in, they're just like, I feel different afterwards. I feel better. And it's not that something in their life was crazy or traumatic that just happened, but they're like, I just feel off. Something, something feels different. But you know what? Maybe I'm wrong in this, so you can correct me. There doesn't always have to be a crazy, dramatic event because the day-to-day -day life we live, it's like it builds up layer after layer of sediment, right, right, Monica? Right, like a slow grade, sometimes just like life experience after life experience. And then one day you're just like, whoa, something feels so different than it did so long ago. Right. Or it can be a big event to where you feel different from that. So something that y'all have focused on, and I'm not going to get the terminology right, so hopefully if I just begin it, you can finish it. <laughs> Because Matt was saying something about this, but you, you neuro what? Neural integration. Okay. Yeah. So integration is, is just to make all parts of ourselves become whole. So it's like these small experiences that kind of we haven't fully come to balance with, or we still think about them and they still elicit these major emotions. It's a really good sign that we haven't processed or integrated them. And what we help people do is, well, what we believe is that these past experiences, it's easy to look back at a situation we've integrated and be like, that shaped me, right. that made me who I am. And other times we look back at a situation and we're like, I have not processed that. I still have a lot of emotions when I think about that. So to integrate that is to pull it all in, to make it coherent with who we are. But there are a lot of people who might be watching this thinking, what does that even mean? Yeah. That we all, I mean, there was a time, I remember this, when you would have experiences and the world said, well, just move on. Mm. I think what we've learned is that you might think you're moving on, but your body and your mind really don't. So you're kind of frozen in, in a space. Is that right, Yes. Monica? And so a good book to read would be The Body Keeps a Score, is that our body remembers these experiences, even if we don't cognitively remember them. So our body, our nervous system doesn't know the difference between 10 years ago, 15 years ago, right now, and five minutes from now. So our nervous system is constantly reliving these experiences, trying to process them so that we can move on and be more whole and fully experience our life. So that's really what, how we support people. And people present in all different ways. It's not just that they remember these experiences that they can't recall or can't process. Sometimes it shows up as neck pain or sometimes it shows up as anxiety or just feeling off or disconnected. So right. it's, it's very universal how it shows up. Okay, so you come in the doors here and there's this wonderful warm space that greets you. And if you went to their old location, you've incorporated parts of that. Some of the paintings yes. you had, the wood work behind the desk y'all kind of reinvented uh, to bring here but nature abounds in this space yeah. um, so you're welcomed in and then you go back to this beautiful room 
where the magic happens, really. <laughs> and all that light infuses there, too. Yeah. You're proud of that space. Oh my gosh, yes, yes. Like I said, for six people to come together and have one dream together and it all come together in coherence like this, mm -hmm. it's unbelievable to me. And I think people ask us like all the time, like, how was this whole process for you? Was it super stressful, like family? And I was like, you know what? Up until probably a, we opened at 12 on Monday two weeks ago, up until 11.39, we were, it was probably that last 10 minutes where we were still like getting last minute things together. But up until that point, I think the whole process has been so, so beautiful. Yeah. Yeah. And the space reflects that. So um, when people come here, Monica, whatever gets them in the door for the first time, uh, you also love to educate people. So you mm -hmm. realize that their time is what it is. Some people mm -hmm. have more than others to come. Yeah. So y'all are doing kind of monthly events moving forward because you have the space for it now. Yeah, right? and that's exactly the last space we grew out of it. Like we couldn't fit any more people at our events. So when we were looking for our new space, it it had to be bigger so that we can fit as many people as we could. So yes, we're so excited to have more events here that can house more people. So we're going to be having monthly breath works. We do a deep dive class, which if people are more interested in our process or just how their body works and how they can really live their life better in ownership of their own body and navigating life, um, that's the space for them. Um, and then we have our, of course, grand reopening party coming up May 19th. So nice. we're really, really, yes. really excited for that. Excited. And for those social media savvy people, y'all put a lot out on Instagram. Yes. yes. Um, I kind of laughingly said with you though that when I come in here, it's like you've gone on vacation or something and you think, okay, I want what they're having. <laughs> that Y'all just have this happiness about you. And I know it lasts mm. when I leave because I've met you often enough. It's always there. Mm. Um, but a part of it is because y'all are, well, y'all are balanced in your lives, right? And what you experience, I'm guessing, is what you want your clients to experience. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And all of us, we get, we get adjusted here too. Like that's a huge part of our lifestyle. And it shows yeah. of what you're seeing. It's, yeah, it's true. To make an appointment, uh, what's the best way to do that? Do they do it online? Do they call you? What do you think? I would say our website's great. Call the office. We will be on, one of us, you will chat with one of us. You'll have a pretty good idea by the end of that phone call if this is the space for you or not. We'll answer any questions you may have as well. But phone call would probably be the best if you want to chat. Do you have a typical client before I let you go or does it run ages? <laughs> There's, there's, yeah. So there, I would, I would have maybe years ago said, yeah, of course I have a certain kind of client, but I think we are so different and people are so different and nobody's the same. So we have a wide variety of people that we support. You have, you just have to come here to see it for yourself. <laughs> They've been in business for seven years. Very proud of this newest location uh, on North Market Street. Yes. Good luck with everything. I know we'll be back. Yes. The space is inviting. Uh, they've perfected what they do. Uh, and they, their ultimate goal is to help you have your optimal life. That's yeah. the name. Thank, Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Julie. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm.